What is good, peeps? Joe Passarelli here. That's right, the Joe Passarelli Show is back. <coughs> I know we've been a little inconsistent this summer, rigorous work schedule, and a lot of other things, but today, before my big fancy draft at Gillette Stadium later on, I'm going to be hitting you with a lot of reactions of some sport news that has come out over the past few days. Most recently, the Patriots trading... Uh, six-time Pro Bowl guard Logan Mankins to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for backup tight end Tim Wright and uh, future draft pick. All in all, kind of a sad day for New England. Certainly Logan Mankins has been a stalwart here for a long time. Although his play had started to diminish, I think injuries and wear and tear had started to affect his play. And the Patriots, very similar to the Lawyer Malloy situation, had asked him to take a pay cut. Apparently, since the Pro Bowl, finally it boiled down to this. He refused to take a paid cut. They were going to cut him. They ended up trading him to Tampa Bay for a tight end that was probably going to get cut in Tim Wright. So, honestly, the Patriots do get a valuable backup tight end, which they really did not possess, and they're going to need the insurance for Gronkowski, who certainly is an injury liability. So from that regard, I like it, but it is sad seeing a great, you know, another great member of this Patriots team kind of go on unceremoniously, similar to Lloyd Malloy or Richard Seymour with a big trade or release right before the season started. In the Lloyd Malloy case, the Patriots ended up winning the Super Bowl in the 2003-2004 season. In the Richard Seymour case, they ended up having a very underwhelming 10-6 and season and lost in very horrific fashion at home to the to the Baltimore Ravens in 2009-2010 season. So, overall, kind of a mixed bag for the New England Patriots for Logan Mankins. I wish him the best as someone who has been working for the Patriots for 12 years, someone who has followed Logan Mankins' career since the day he got drafted, really to fill Joe Andrews' role, who had left for Cleveland at the time. So, big ups to... Um, Logan Mankins, and hey, possibly could bolster Doug Martin's draft status. I've been really low on Doug Martin, but hey, maybe it could boost his draft status up. A little fancy tidbit for you. Joe Passarelli, stay tuned. You're going to get a bunch of videos today. Subscribe. Peace.